Hello boys and girls, happy new year. It's Mrs. Elizondo with our first story map of 2021. I'm super excited and I hope you guys are having an awesome year so far and I hope you guys continue to have an awesome year for the rest of this year. So like I said, today we're going to start our first story map of 2021, yay! And it is Nobody Hugs a Cactus by Carter Goodrich. Hank lived in a pot. The pot sat in a window. The window looked out at the empty desert. It was hot, dry, peaceful, and quiet, just the way Hank liked it. So there's Hank, cute little cactus. Every now and then, somebody would interrupt Hank's peace and quiet. Hi, Hank, Rosie the tumbleweed called out. Isn't it a beautiful day? Hank ignored her. He just wanted to be left alone. Look at him, so grumpy. Okay, so long, said Rosie cheerfully as she tumbled away. Hank was happy again. But just as he was beginning to relax, Hello, shouted a tortoise. Private property, yelled Hank. Keep out. The tortoise was so frightened, he hid in his shell. Hank was still yelling at the tortoise when a jackrabbit dashed by. Hiya, Prickles, she shouted. My name isn't Prickles, Hank yelled back, and stay out of my yard. Tumbleweeds, tortoises, jackrabbits, what's next, said Hank. A coyote came loping by. No dogs allowed, Hank yelled. I'm not a dog, said the coyote, and you are as prickly on the inside as you are on the outside. Ouch. Before Hank could yell back at the coyote, a cowboy strode past. Keep off the grass, shouted Hank. What grass, said the cowboy? Seems to me somebody needs a hug. Too bad nobody hugs a cactus. Hi, said a lizard. Who invited you, said Hank. And just in case you're wondering, I don't want a hug. That's good, said the lizard, because I don't want to give you one. Then he skirted away. An owl landed on the roof. If you're looking for a hug, said Hank. Well, I guess I could give you one. Ooh, me, said the owl. You must be joking. And for the first time, Hank began to feel a little lonely. Aw, so now he wants love, but nobody wants to give him love. The next morning, Hank was feeling more sad on the inside than prickly. Maybe a hug wouldn't be so bad after all. The wind began to pick up. An old cup blew by and stuck to Hank's face. His arms were sh too short to get it off. Great, said Hank. After a while, Rosie came bouncing by. I'll get it off you, Hank, she shouted, and she jumped up to knock, knock the cup off Hank's face. Then she tumbled away. Hank didn't have time to thank Rosie. He felt bad about all the times he had been so rude to her. So he came up with a plan. Hm. Hank decided to grow the best flower he could and then give it to Rosie as a thank you gift. It took days, but at last it was ready. He couldn't wait for Rosie to pass by again. When at last she finally did come bouncing back, Hank held out the flower. Look, Rosie, he said, I grew it just for you. Rosie was so surprised, she jumped up and gave Hank a great big hug. It felt so nice, Hank didn't want to let go. And as things turned out, he couldn't. Rosie and Hank had become stuck together. Oh, look at them. But they didn't care. After all, it's better to be stuck in a hug than stuck all alone. And look at them. They're still stuck in their hug. That is such a sweet story. I hope you guys enjoyed it. So, boys and girls, like always, don't forget to complete your story map for today. 
Don't forget to write your name at the very top. The title of the book for today is Nobody Hugs a Cactus. Then down here, draw the main character. Who is the main character of this story? Yes, it's Hank the Cactus. Hank the Cactus is such a grouch. He's always so grumpy. He doesn't have many friends because he's always so mean to everybody. But that's how he is. That's, that's his character. So I want you to draw Hank the Cactus here. And if you feel, feel free to draw any of the other characters that you liked from the story. Like Rosie, maybe the Turtis. Um, so over here on the setting, where does the story take place? The story takes place out in the desert, remember, where it's so peaceful and quiet, just the way Hank likes it. In the desert, boys and girls, there's a lot of dirt. There might be some mountains. A lot of cactuses live in the desert, along with other um, big prickly plants. Now, down here in the beginning, I want you to draw what happens in the beginning of the story. What happens first? Yes, in the beginning of the story, you kind of learn about who Hank is, what he likes. He likes to be left alone. He likes peace and quiet. He doesn't like anybody to interrupt his little peace and quiet. He doesn't like people or other animals. He's kind of mean. That happens in the beginning. But as we go into the middle, well, what happens in the middle? What major thing happens in the middle of the story? Yes, in the middle of the story, Hank is arguing with all the other animals and people, the cowboys, and he tells them he, to get off his lawn. He fights a little bit with them, but he also realizes that he feels very lonely and he needs to have a friend because he wants hugs. But then there's a big storm, and in that big storm, a cup falls on his head and he can't get it off until what happens at the end the cup is on Hank's head then at the very end Rosie comes by and saves him he takes the she takes the cup off his head and he decides he needs to be a little bit more kinder and much nicer so he grows a beautiful flower for Rosie and he gives it to her at the very end where they're stuck in a hug <laughs> So that happens at the end. So boys and girls, don't forget to complete your story map. You will turn it in at the end of the week. And again, Happy New Year. I'm so glad I'm the, we're able to do this um, today and the rest of the week. I miss story maps. It's my favorite part. And I'll see you again tomorrow, guys. Bye.